Welcome everybody. Hi. We're playing a game. Yes. That's what we do apparently. Occasionally. Sometimes. I mean, it's it's not like it's the entire channel or anything. I mean, we do other. No, we don't do anything else. No. Um, we're playing Dirge of Cerberus, Final Fantasy VII. Yep. James. Yeah. How super psyched are you? Super duper psyched. I care so much about the tale of Vincent Valentine. Yeah. Who and is his, totally not a vampire. His emo legacy. Yep. I, but uh, like I said to you earlier, I, like he is just Richmond. Richmond from the IT crowd, from yes. the IT crowd, yes. This is who he is. He, well, he's kind of the reverse story. He goes from like wearing a suit and being part of a multi-million pound organization. Well, actually, yeah. It's basically the story of Richmond from the start, but then he doesn't become a boss again later on. He just stays an emo. Exactly. Um, um, so. Yeah, we apologize for, some, for the what will be numerous glitches. The emulator doesn't particularly like this. So, but we're going to persist. Yeah, we'll get through. We'll go watch the madness. So this is when this Square is... Enix decided to make a bunch of spin-off games. Yeah. This has been called quite a bad spin-off game just, uh, they're just, it's just, just piling the subtitles on top. Dagging, that's not good. Oh, it's Yuffie. Yeah, it's her. It's her arm still broken after all these years. I didn't think it was broken. I thought it was like a bracer, like a protector kind of thing. I never really understood that. I thought I was thought she had just had. Broken I don't know. Arm. They're all. Vincent has pointy shoes. Oh, I can't stand those credits, how they just keep stacking onto each other. <laughs> it's amazing, I love it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, so this is... This is set a year after the events of Advent Children. Which... Yeah, that was the other... So they made like three spin-off things for the anniversary of Final Fantasy VII. It was Crisis Core... This... At, wait, Crisis Core, which is, a, which is quite good. Yes. This... Which is a... And the Advent Children movie, which is... Uh, I'd say this is worse than the film. Yeah. The film at least delivers on some aspects, and uh, well, to me the most disappointing thing was that Red Thirteen didn't talk. He had one line, and what's really annoying to me is I love his voice actor. His voice yeah. actor is one of my favorites. It's I don't know if you'll know him, Liam O'Brien. He voiced, oh god, he voiced a lot of like big characters, but I can't even remember like. Uh, he was in Bleach. I don't know if you'll know him from Bleach. He was the... I don't know voice actor. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I really like his voice actor anyway. Oh, no, but no. he gets one line. He's... Vincent exploded the thing. He's okay. He knows yeah. what he's doing. Also, Kate Sith was around in, Falcon, in Advent Children. Right. Which made no sense. No, the thing that didn't make any sense was... On the phone... Like, Cloud's phone that was falling down through the water... Reeve called him up and he's like, hi, it's Reeve, and he's talking with this very formal, polite accent. He's like, oh, yes, and then it cuts to Kate Sith later, who's Scottish. Yep. But Kate Sith was just a robot that Reeve spoke through. So... Why did he install just like why did he install a voice changer to make him It's Scottish? called acting. It's called acting, Michael. He's a method actor. Hmm. So he has to act as a Scottish cat? Yes. I'm still confused. But what hell what help was Kate Sith gonna be? Because like he didn't have his mog or yeah. he didn't have any materia or Oh, ah. This is where I come to brood. Lucrezia. Crawling in <laughs> my skin. Give the Lincoln Park! <laughs> oh dear. So. Uh, is that, that just looks like Aeris. It really does. And also, I, and also yes. Lucrezia. Yes, I hear you out there, pedant. I said Aeris, not Aerith. Deal with it. Hey, you're also offending me in that. <laughs> I am I care how you pronounce it, I care about people telling me off for pronouncing it the way I pronounce it based That's on the original game that I played just because they realised it was a slight mistranslation later on. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think they probably should have just like stuck with it. Yeah, I think like you just accept the mistranslation and just like you know what, it's, fuck it, it's done now. It's a now. name. Yeah. And yes, it kind of slightly mo removed the whole Earth bit of her name, but it's like. Eh. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not sure what's going on with this cutscene. There's nothing really I, I important. Imagine mo I, I'm worried that most of this video is going to be cutscene now. It is pretty much going to be mostly cutscene. Ah, oh, shit. Um, we'll make it a slightly longer one-off if that's the case, we if will. you're if you're okay with that. We'll um, but um, blah blah blah, there's some badness going down, there's a new organisation uh, that's causing some hassle. Um, and Vincent's got his glass of wine and his phone that he's ignoring because he's a bastard. He's oh, just the so worst he, he guy. picked up with, from Cloud in Advent Children the well, whole... Well, yeah, right at the end, he's like... You don't answer your phone. Yeah. Uh, Wait, there's... Did, did, did Vincent even have a phone in Advent Children? Uh, right at the end, he's like, Where can I buy a phone? Uh, <laughs> That's the joke. Uh, it's all funny, because he got a phone. Uh... But yeah, I think the thing with, like... See if this were, like... See if the f this game had enough gameplay to it to make this cutscene worth it, that would be fine. If there was m more than about, I don't know, a few hours worth of gameplay, like, I think you would need, like, at least a solid 12 to 16 hours of gameplay, maybe 12 to 18 hours of gameplay to make this cutscene worth it. For me to actually give a damn. Can we skip it, James? This is where, oh god, there is a skip button. We could have skipped it this we whole time. We could have skipped it the whole time. Fine. Fuck the cutscene. Okay. There's a new organization that's about called fucking something. It doesn't say on the back of the case here. Called cutting edge gunfighting action. Called. But Vincent's got his guns. At the start, you have three of I'm the. Trying, s Ar Arhens. Ar it's Ar Shinra backwards. Uh, <laughs> backwards. Um. So at the start of the game, you have... <laughs> I think that... Right, okay. As a warning, we have read up some compatibility things for this. The game is going to glitch out on the emulator. We quite, know this. Quite a bit. So I think that purple might be the glitch... Well, the glitches. I can't tell. It just and maybe not. Because right. it would have only appeared at, like, one side of the screen. Uh, anyway. Um, just because everything else around him is... And now oh, you've got to shoot them. Bang. R1. Sweet. So you start off with, you've got your three guns, you've got three of the same guns. Oh, go look down a second. Go take the camera right low. And then turn, yeah, the sky splits in half. Oh, lovely. Day is night. Blackest day. Something, something, in, Green in, Lantern. In brightest day, in darkest night, no. no. No evil shall escape my light. Green Lantern light. I don't, I don't fucking remember. Oh, there we go. We're climbing. Um, the, so yeah, he's got three guns, and later on like, you get as much as I dislike Batman's shooting animation. Mhm. Mm you do also have a physical attack as well that you can use, which is not great, but you're probably better off shooting. And I again. Can. Press R1. I am. There you go. You got him. Is it working? Yeah, we're fine. Oh, okay. Okay, it's it, it was not responding. I swear. The controller button. R2 at any time to reload the weapon. That'll be it. I probably need to. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. How do I get out of this now? There ah, you go. Press B. Yeah. Yeah. So this was our attempt to make Devil May Cry, essentially. Well, I was about to say yeah, but like, um, no, they weren't done by the same company. Fucking, that was Capcom. Yeah, if you shoot that barrel, then that guy will explode. There you go. And then kill that man. Yeah. Sorry, the emulator oh, is okay. out a little bit, but it's yeah. okay. So it starts you off with three of the same guns, and then what happens is you like get enhancements for them later on. Oh, shit. So yeah, you, found... you used the potion. It's cool. You've now also swapped to the second gun, because obviously you're exploring through your options and what have you. So all the guns are the same at the moment, but you do get enhancements. So like you get 
Um, oh yeah, I see. That just I like how he doesn't yeah. have a change animation. It's just no, it will later on when you change them slightly. So, like you get enhancements to make one of them a machine gun and make the other one a sniper rifle, or sorry, you get longer barrels, shorter barrels, and you get like the stuff to make them fire machine gun bullets or uh, sniper bullets, etc. All right. It's quite a strange game. Kill the man. Good. Sweet. So, you enjoying the game so far? I'm enjoying going downstairs. Stairs, the game. stairs emulator 2017. <laughs> it's amazing. And where am I supposed to meet Reeve? Where am I supposed to meet Reeve? I'm Batman. I'm now. also Batman. Emo Batman. And if Spider-Man 3 was also Batman. You know, I'm, just, I'm not... What's up? Oh god, there's a, even a status menu. Yeah. No, I was trying to... I was like, actually, I didn't really, like, twig where I was supposed to go. Like, I was just like... Yeah, you're, now linear you're, corridors. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. I don't like how there's not a mini-map, but... Oh. So you got to shoot all the guys. All the bad... badmans. Kill them! Nice. You doing okay there, James? No, because... Is the fire button not working? No. Oh dear. This isn't going to help with the glitches. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Switching guns helps. Oh dear. Now ah, you're good. So you gotta protect the civilians. And he's reloaded. Cool. You also get material that you can attach to the guns as well. So they can like fire special... Like... I don't know, just like fire shots. It's a Doog! Watch out for the Doog. Do I kill it? Uh, no. Can I get through this entire game using melee attack? <laughs> You'll be there a while. Or maybe not. Nope. What do I know? That heals your health and MP as well. Yay, Mako. Oh, sorry, it just heals your materia. Your Mako. What's in that briefcase? A fire materia. So, uh, yeah. Equip materia into a weapon back and customize function. Okay. I thought you said attach it by accident. By accident, yes, yeah. that sounds like. That sounds relatively sensible. So, it's the little chain. Yeah. That's now attached to weapon 3. Cool. So if you press L1 while you're aiming at an enemy, now, yeah, it'll cause a massive explosion. But it uses up Mako, which is your blue meter. So how do I heal it? You, Not there. You've yeah. used that one up. Ah, you used a potion. Yeah, the, the, deliberate. Did you see how... Did you not see how... Yeah, you health? didn't have much health. So yeah, if you aim down there and go like, L1. I don't no, know if I you've can't. got. I no, you've not got enough. Now. Oh, you've changed the weapon. All right. Sweet! You mauled a dog today. Good for you, James. You monster. I'm a monster! Oh -ho. <laughs> This is Kingdom Hearts, right? Yes. <laughs> and, well, actually, it's quite reminiscent of yeah, it's, Traverse Town. It, it's similar. Is it Traverse Town? I think so. That's the one where you meet Squall, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, right. Must be up here and go. Yeah, there's like two menus as well. <laughs> yeah, so go yeah. down that way, then go right. right. Head down, right, forward, right. And now is when you're I'm supposed to use the material. Then cha cha, real smooth. To the window, to the wall. To the sweat oh. down my balls. Oh dear, there's they're flying into the heaven. Fly into the abyss, man. Do it. Right. So you can't proceed down that way. You need the the. Uh, so if you aim at that barrel and then go, oh yeah, everybody dies, except for that. And then you get thirty-six handgun bullets. Oh yeah. So you can break those open as well. I think it's usually or sometimes ammo or gold or gill. Oh yes, Gil, of course. Not Gold, Gil. Oh, I'm sorry. Get old your... old Gil was inside the box. <laughs> oh, Gil. Oh, we must have already had a card key. 
Oh, we don't have a card key. Where do we get the card key then? Um, is there more more enemies behind you? Could try to kill you. Like that one. Yeah, that one. It's there. It was very effective at trying to kill me. Right? Did they? Oh, they okay. What about that one? Where did he come from? Now there's a card key. Aha. Got a card key. Now use the card key. And we're progressing through the game. Oh yeah. Or maybe not, because there's some fire. This game is... Is yeah. it pretty good? You pretty, you join the game so far? It's... It. Oh no, well we can't, can't very well take that out yet. I'm too gonna kill you. I'll kill you. Yeah, you won't get very far. It's my job it's to cool. protect leave, those people. And uh, leave the civilians. They're they fine. They shot at. They know what they're doing. Oh no! Death. I just have no health. Oh and yeah, you can... Oh, and then you can change into the beast. Yeah. So it's pretty much you just get to change into the Galleon Beast until like much later on where you get to change into Chaos. Okay. Uh, like the so... very end, so it's R1 and L1. Okay, so that's what I need to do to transform. Yeah, but you like... Well, no, sorry, you use the... You have to use the item. Ah, oh, right, I see. Okay. I, I, I didn't really read the instructions there. It's been a while since I've played this game. You doing okay there? It's not shooting. Hmm. The glitches have finally gone against us. Which is annoying because glitches usually work in our favor. Right, James? Yeah, always. Sorry, I'm I'm, no, no. I'm like actually having to concentrate occasionally. I mean, it's not like it's a very difficult game. No. Cool. I picked that guy's pocket. I think the game's just, like that. It's our, just our trying to keeps, load. No, it's because the disc keeps spinning down. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh well, that's more cutscene. It needs to like keep the disc awake, and it's not. Yeah. So it glitches. Oh yeah, you need to save oh, this. Oh no. This the low re the low res NPCs are child. low res NPCs are in danger. Hmm. What are oh, those? No. They're like clearly weird kind of like dog creatures. Human. They look like they're supposed to be part. They're kind of partially human. Yeah, they probably are. All right, where were they? Uh, I assume forward. Keep, yeah, keep going the way you were. Should probably reload as well. Kill that. Creature. Oh well, it's gone in there. Free her. There we okay. go. Well, she's fine. I don't need. Guns. Okay, save the girl. Save the girl. D no, no, not her. The other girl. That young child. She's been taken off into that thing. So push it. Push the buttons. Yeah. Right. You need to kill the kill the enemies that are trying to kill you in the meantime. Right. I am pressing the button. You yep. can hear me oh, pressing I can the hear button. You. Nice. Safety kill. What is shooting at me? The no, person in the window. Up there. Oh, well, you died. I died. You died. Um. I gamma over. Uh, you gonna keep playing? Or? Please say I don't have to restart from the start of the level. Oh yeah, you can either do experience or get more money. So yeah. Please say this. If this starts again, I I'm think, not playing. I think there's various checkpoints throughout the mission. Right. It takes you back to the start, but then you can load it up from the checkpoints, I believe. What? Oh no, there we go. So yeah. we're at the same point? Are we? Mm, no, we are. No, nope. we're at the start. Much sooner. Right. This is just a one-off anyway. Yeah. So We ain't playing through that again. This no. is a game, it's based on one of our favourite franchises. It's not very good. No, it's not. Not in the slightest. Right, guys. I um, uh, hope you enjoyed our little chat about this game and it being oh sweet, a that was well, mess. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, 
And hey, if you fancy some terribleness, maybe you should play the game yourself. Hey, if you fancy something more terrible, maybe... Maybe watch us next week. No. <laughs> what? Maybe, maybe watch us next time when we do something else vaguely nerdy. Something that's different and also nerdy. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Ah! Seriously, I think the melee attack is my most effective way of dealing with these people. It has been so far. Haha. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm now actually just running through the game because I'm like, I know how to play this now. Cool. It's less glitchy. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Who needs fire materia? When you can claw people to Punch death. them. <laughs> right, anyway, yeah. Goodbye. Right. Goodbye, folks. Let's fly off into the abyss. Bye.